Hello everyone, this is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Here is part two of the present perfect series and this part is about the use and meaning. So this was or is a two-part lesson. Okay, so it is in two parts with a separate video for each part. Part one I have already done and part one I explain the form so the affirmative negative and question form I also give you the spelling rules of the past participles and we also look at the correct position of adverbs and some exercises in this video part two we will look at how to use the present perfect and also the meaning and quite important at the end we will look at the differences with the past simple tense because this often causes confusion so let's start example Mark says why is Sarah not playing tennis David replies, she has broken her leg. So here is the present perfect. Okay, the present perfect is here in red. And the explanation is that, in fact, David doesn't need to say exactly when Sarah broke her leg. Okay, it is not important. So exactly when, the only thing that is important is that it is in the past. All right. So the, um, the present perfect tells us that the action, the accident, is in the past. But we do not know exactly when she broke her leg. And the present perfect it describes an event in the past for example Sarah breaks her leg and it explains a situation in the present and the situation here in the present is Sarah is not playing tennis so always with the present perfect there is always a connection or an effect with the present okay that is very important so it's in a past a past action with an effect or connection in the present well the present perfect the name is actually confusing because it is a past tense okay it is not a present tense it is a past tense It describes an event in the past but it does not describe exactly when it happened okay so here is the time imagine this is the time here is the present this is now here we have the past and here is the future so the present perfect it describes an action or event here somewhere here but we do not know exactly where or when maybe Sarah broke her leg here or here or maybe even here we do not know with the present perfect it is not important and the events or actions in the past have an effect or connection with the present okay example Mark is sad because his cat has died his cat has died so there is the present perfect and the connection with the present is, well, 
the effect is now Mark is sad. Okay. And exactly when the cat died is not important. It is not important if the cat died yesterday or last week or even last month. It doesn't change anything. Mark is still sad. The cat is still dead. The result in the present is the same. The cat is dead. So we use the present perfect simply to say that something has happened in the past. Let's go to the cinema to watch the Harry Potter film. Have you seen it? So here it is in the question form. The question form of the present perfect. And here, the connection with the present is, well, it will help us make a decision if we want to go to the cinema. Okay? But it is not important when you saw the Harry Potter film. It's either yes or no. You have seen it or you haven't seen it. If you have seen it, then we do not go to the cinema. Okay? But if you haven't yet seen it, then we will go to the cinema. So it's yes or no. Have you seen it? It doesn't matter. It is not important if you saw the film yesterday or last week. The result in the present is the same. So we use the present perfect for this situation. News report. News reports in the media often use the present perfect at the start of a report to give a general summary. Example. The Prime Minister, David Cameron, has promised to create more jobs for young people. So this is an example article in a newspaper. This is the beginning of the article. And you can see we use the present perfect to give a general summary of the news. And then after that, very often in news articles, the past simple tense is then used to give more specific information. So, for example, the next paragraph is During yesterday's conference in London, the Prime Minister promised to create over a thousand new jobs over the next six months for young people leaving school. So here, now we give more information about the news and we are being more specific. We are saying where and when. So since it is now more specific, we use the past, um, the past simple. Promised. ED. Promised. Okay? Unspecified time before now. So we use the present perfect um, to simply say something happened in the past but we do not know exactly when. Okay? So we use the present perfect with indefinite time adverbs. These are words like ever, never, once, before, so far, already, yet. So all of these words, we use them to say um, that some, something has happened in the past, but we do not know exactly when. Example, I have never been to New York. So in red is the present perfect, and never is the adverb. 
Have you ever seen an elephant? I have met him before. So in all of these cases we use the present perfect to say that something has happened in the past but it is not important exactly when. We can use the present perfect to describe new experience we have gained at an unspecified time in the past. Example, I have learned to play the piano. Yes, I have been to London. How does he know how to use this software? And the answer is, well, he has studied computing. All right. These three examples show um, the present perfect to describe experience that we have acquired in the past. Change over time. We use the present perfect to describe change that has evolved over a period of time. Video games have become very popular with young people. Your English has improved. Okay, so here we are using the present perfect to describe <coughs> a progressive change. So your English has improved. So perhaps last year your English wasn't very good and now it is good. So we say it has improved. Okay, we use the present perfect for this. An uncompleted action that you are expecting. We use the present perfect to describe an action which we expected but it has not happened. So we are waiting for something. And in fact, in the present, we are still waiting for the action to happen. I still haven't washed the dog. Mark hasn't finished his homework yet. Okay, so again, in red, we have the present perfect. And in blue, these are adverbs which express um, that we are still waiting. We are still expecting something. So I haven't washed the dog. I still haven't washed the dog. I need to do it. I will do it in the future. I haven't done it in the past. Notice that both of these are in the negative. Hasn't. Haven't. several actions at different times. We can use the present perfect to describe several actions at different unspecified times in the past. And more actions are possible in the future. We've been to France many times. I've called him three times. So, Mark here. Mark has called somebody three times. And since more actions are possible in the future, maybe he has the intention of calling a fourth time, a fifth time, a sixth time. He's not finished. Okay? But so far, in the past, he has called three times so far. He has called three times. Duration. From the past until now. So we, we can use the present perfect to describe something that started in the past and has continued up until now, the present. 
and the action or event is continuing. It is not finished. Okay, so there's an event. It starts here. It's carrying on, continuing until the present, and it is going to continue after the present. But be careful. We can only do this with these types of verbs. One non-continuous verbs. These are verbs like love, hate, want, be, need. And two, non-continuous uses of mixed verbs. These are words like have, hear, feel, see. And we also add these verbs live, work, teach and study. So this rule is only valid for these three types of verbs. Examples. Well, we can express a duration either using for followed by a period of time or since followed by a specific moment in time. He has loved her for several years. So here is the present perfect, followed by four and a period of time, several years. Or we can say, he has loved her since 2007. So we say since plus a specific moment in time. I have had this car for two weeks. Or, I have had this car since August. She has worked at IBM for two months. She has worked at IBM since July. This is very important that the action or event is continuing. It is not finished. So example here, she has worked at IBM for two months and she is at IBM now in the present. She still works at IBM now and is continuing there. Okay, that is very important. This is very important. Time expressions. The present perfect describes an event in the past, but it does not describe exactly when it happened. Okay, we've seen this. So here we have our time that we've already seen. So, like we have already seen, we are describing an event sometime in the past. We do not know when. I have been to London, for example. But we can limit the period of the past with an unfinished time expression. For example, in the last week, or this week, or today. So here we can say, I have been to London four times in the last month and you can see so the time period is shorter so it means that we have been to London four times between here and here one month but it is still an unspecified moment in time we don't know exactly when we went to London during the, that month. I have lost my keys three times this week. So again, we are limiting the period of time, but it is still an unspecified moment during that period. Be careful. In the last month, this does not mean last month. 
This is the difference. Last month means the previous month. It is a specific it's sorry, it is a specific time. And for a specific time we only use the past simple. But here, in the last month, this is a period of time from one month ago until now. And so we use the present perfect. Okay? So we are just making the period in the past shorter, but it is still an unspecified moment during that period. So present perfect or past simple. There are three main differences. Present perfect, it is unfinished actions that started in the past and continue to the present. Example, I have worked at IBM for three years and I am still there today. But in the past simple, it is for finished actions. So here we say, I worked at IBM for three years. And the meaning is different. This means that I no longer work there because it is a finished action. Second difference, it is a finished action at an unspecified time with a connection to the present. Example, in the present we say, please call an ambulance, I have broken my leg. So there is a connection um, with the present. But in, but in the past simple, it is a finished action at a specific time and without a connection to the present. I broke my leg yesterday. It was terrible. But there is no real impact or effect in the present. It was yesterday. It's finished. And in the present perfect, we use unfinished time expressions. This week. This month in the last week. But in the past simple, we used fi we use finished time expressions. Yesterday, last month, two weeks ago. Okay, so that's a big difference. And very important, we do not use the present perfect with a finished time expression. So, example, we do not say, I have broken my leg yesterday. That is wrong. We, if we want to use, if we want to say yesterday, we must say, I broke my leg yesterday. Okay. So, there we are. That is the end of the lesson. Um, if you want to watch um, the first part of, um, of this lesson, here is the video where I explain the form, um, the form of the tense. Okay? And here are three other videos which you might be interested in. Okay, thank you very much for watching. My name is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.